He's not going to drop it this time. Oh. Right. Question six. Um, the, the last one that we're doing on this core two paper about integration, but we're kicking off with the trapezium rule. We use the trapezium rule with two strips, each of which four, to show that an approximate value of that is that two strips in a trapezium rule just feels completely pointless. That why, why do it with two strips? But anyway, that's, that's what we're doing. Um, it's almost not worth setting out a little table, but I, I was taught to set out a little table to do these. And so my, my two strips, if I've got two strips, that means I need three values, doesn't it? Because I need one either side. Um, each of which four, so I've got one. And then I've got the value of 5, and I've got the value of 9. And so that will give me my two strips in between those values. Um, I remember you have the first and last ones and separated from all the, the rest, all the middle ones. It's almost unnecessary to do this here, isn't it? Well, y is 4 root x, so we've got 4 root 1. Then we've got 4 root 5. And we've got 4 root 9, which root 12, and so we get those three values. And we put it together. If we need to, we refer to the formula that's in the formula sheet that says that the integral between 1 and 9 and 4 root x dx is approximately equal to a half times the width of each of these strips, which is 4, times the first plus the last, so the ones in that column plus twice the sum of all the ones in that column. In this case we're going to resist the temptation to go straight to the calculator because we know we've got the root 5 appearing in our final answer. So we're going to carefully work out what we've got here. That's two lots of 16 plus 8 root 5. And so if we multiply that out, we've got 32 plus 16 root 5. That's what we were meant to show, wasn't it? There we go. The three marks. Use a sketch graph to explain why the actual value is greater than that. Um, you'll notice that if you go back through papers, this is a really common thing, isn't it, with the trapezium rule questions. State whether your answer is an underestimate or an overestimate with a reason. And a sketch graph is always a good way of doing it. Um, so, a 4 root x. What, is, what does root x look like? Yeah, it's that, that, okay. So, 4 root x. Is the graph that does that. And we're doing this between 1 and 9. So as we do our sketch, there's 1, we did a value at 5, we did a value at 9. And so if we draw our trapeziums, and maybe even slightly exaggerate it to look like that, then we can clearly say, explain why the actual value is greater than that. Well, can we see the tops of, the, of each trapezium are underneath the curve? So should nice next time. illustration of the sketch, isn't it? We need to kind of okay. really make that clear what we've done. Um, and then, I'm quite proud of that graph. Then part three, use integration to find the exact value of that. So we're doing now the integral from 1 to 9 of 4 root x dx. Uh, what are we going to do before we integrate this? Put it in a different form, what like? We're going to put it in index form, so we're going to write it as 4x to the half, because root x is x to the half. 
Now we can integrate it. Add 1 to the power, divide by 1 to the power. What is it? Plus. Your way. Remember yeah. now we're not going to put plus c in there because we're doing it as a, a definite integral between limits. Um, uh, let's tidy this up a little bit first. This is 4 divided by 3 over 2 would be um, 8 over 2, uh, 8 over 3. One and nine. We've got to be careful here because the question did say give an exact value, so we've got to make sure that we give a value nice and exactly. That would be, well, nine, three, power of three over two. Again, in core one this morning, we, we talked a bit about how we deal with this. We square root it first and then cube it. So that is nine square root of this three cubed is 27. And we're subtracting 8 over 3. Um, what are we ending up with? Um, Sorry? 208. What is 208? 208 over 3. I decided it was too late in the day to put it in the head. Are we happy with 208 over 3? And that's, uh, that's an area, isn't it? Square units. <laughs>